Hello and welcome everyone to anubhavtrainings.com SAP Analytics Cloud Tutorial for Planning. In today's video, we will learn about how SAP Analytics Cloud is tracking the history and in, if in case you made a change on your data, data model or data set, would you be able to roll back that change when you create and do the version management in SAP Analytics Cloud? So what I'll do is I'll switch it over back to the SAP Analytics Cloud system. And what I've done over here is I have created multiple versions. So as you can see, I've got a version to calculate the forecast called YouTube demo version for 2019 planning data. And I would go ahead and in distribute this value across all my regions. So maybe what I see here, that my overall enterprise revenue in the US region is too high. And I would like to go back and distribute some portion of this value to an overseas version. So I can right click on the value and let me choose the option called distribute. And then I will do it distribution at the same level. And out of this revenue, I would like to distribute about 200 million to the overseas account. I'm done with the change and I can click on apply. And you would see the value has been distributed to 200 million to my overseas account. Now for, for some reason, for example, I would not be so happy with this change. I would like to roll back this change. Pretty much possible. You can always go back to the version management once again. So go to more options, choose version management. And if you would like to see the change, all, all changes which has been done on this current version, you can go back over here and click on this more options to see the history of this version. As you can see, all the history of this version is starting from copying the version to a private version, making the change and distributing the value over here. I can always click on also this nice little history button over here to see all the versions. You can switch it over to a different um, version to see all its history right from here. So you can see I have a variety of versions and there is a change on all of these at some point of time. But my current concern is YouTube demo version. Just now I've done a distribution. You can see it's being displayed over here. I can just quickly go back to the previous step to roll back the status. And you can see my original value of operating income at US is came back to 357. I can also go back to the previous version state where I've copied the data from somewhere that also got rolled back. You can always undo and redo these changes as and when it demands. Now I can close this or probably I can permanently remove all the changes performed and then I can close this. I can also go back and I can publish the version. I would also be able to delete the version permanently from the system. I can perform a share action to allow different users in my system to just see this version data in a read only mode or also in a read and write mode. You can also see the history option available over here as well. You can close this up. You can also switch over to the history panel to perform the same set of activities which we just did on a particular version. So this is how version management always help us while working with SAP Analytics Cloud to redo and undo the changes which we are applying. So I hope you enjoyed this video on working with history of data version on SAP Analytics Cloud. And I will see you in the next video.